Despite drafting a league low of three players from the NFL draft from a couple of weeks ago, the Seahawks might have come up on the crown jewel of the undrafted free agency class and wide receiver Tamorion Terry out of Florida State University. Josiah. What's up? Wrote a clip. Here comes the. Here comes the. Here comes the. Y'all don't really want it like It's your boy, Calvin Domingo, a.k.a. Steezy A. Smith. I'm an aspiring sports analyst slash journalist. And if you're new to this channel and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for, man? Join the family. Join the team. Hit that subscribe button for our brother. Show us some love. And if you enjoy our content or if you enjoy any of our videos, be sure to leave a like and drop us a comment down below. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at Steezy A. Smith to keep up to date with the latest in the sports world as well as our content. And... Before we commence, I would like to take some of this time to remember one of our dearest and biggest fans, someone whose life was tragically and unfortunately and suddenly taken far too soon. I want to dedicate and I want to give our best wishes and our condolences to the Nas family. Rest in peace. Rest in heaven to Mr. Todd Nas. Um, Todd Nas is the... <clears throat> Todd Nas is the admin of one of my favorite Seattle Seahawks groups on Facebook, and he's been there since the very beginning of my journey, from when I first started out talking Seahawks football on Norb Cam's channel to when I first made my own YouTube channel. He's been there from the very beginning of it all, and while I've never physically gotten to meet Mr. Todd Nas, well, we were able to form a bond because of our love for the Seattle Seahawks, and while our conversations were short, they were very meaningful, and they'll forever hold a place in my heart. You used to critique my videos, you used to comment on my videos talking about how you look forward to watching them next and how I always did a great job. And those words, it meant a lot more to me than, than you would think. And with all those things being said, Mr. Todd Nas and, and to your family, again, I'd love to, to give you guys our condolences, our best of wishes. God is only looking down from above. Mr. Todd Nas, I know you're watching from above. So again, this video is dedicated to you as well as the rest of our Seahawks videos, the rest of our YouTube videos from here on out. Rest in peace. Rest in heaven to a great man, to a wonderful man. And this one's for you. You tune in to Steezy A. Smith, and let's get to cooking. Once upon a time, wide receiver Tamori Ontario was once compared to legendary wide receiver Randy Moss and even that of Seattle's very own DK Metcalf. And while he clearly isn't DK Metcalf or Randy Moss, I should say he's a poor man's version of Randy Moss or DK Metcalf. Coming out of college, well, this dude is an absolute freak of nature at the wide receiver position. What he brings to the table is a six foot three body, 207 pounds, 33 and a half inch arms, nine and a half inch hands, a 445 40 yard dash, an all ACC second team selection in 2019, and a whole bunch of explosiveness. Yes, he does have his flaws. He does need to work on his press release. He does need to work on his run blocking as he's a little bit inconsistent in terms of his run blocking. He needs to focus on his concentration jobs. There's a lot of things he needs to focus on. He's not the most refined and technical wide receiver, but what, but the type of wide receiver that he is, he's a very explosive and athletic type of wide receiver. Back in 2019, his best season statistically, here's what he had. 60 receptions, 1,188 receiving yards and nine touchdowns and 19.8 yards per catch. Now get this, he averaged an, an astonishing 57.8 yards per catch on his nine touchdowns, which was obviously the highest in all of college football. Not only that, he holds a school record at FSU for the most touchdowns of 70 plus yards. Not only that, he holds the FSU record with five touchdowns of 70 plus yards. So if that doesn't scream a big play threat or a deep threat at the NFL level, well, I don't know what does. Tamori Ontario, like I said earlier, stands at six foot three. And if you look at the current Seattle Seahawks roster, well, aside from DK Metcalf, there isn't a single receiver that stands over six feet tall. Unless you count Cody Thompson, who's six foot two, but I see him as more of being on the roster bubble. So at this moment, I'm not gonna count him. But Tamori Ontario not only brings a whole lot of explosion and big playability, he brings much needed size at the wide receiver position. And as has been a theme with some of Seattle's draftees, well, he provides a little bit of value as a special teamer. Back in 2018, he was used a little bit in punk coverage, and what he showed as a gunner was absolutely tremendous. I saw a whole lot of will. I saw a whole lot of desire. I saw, once again, a whole lot of speed. And his ability and desire to make tackles, well, that's a great sign. 
And so if he's gonna come up in the Seattle system, well, obviously it's gonna have to start on special teams, which is where notable guys, notable undrafted guys like Doug Baldwin have made their mark. So yes, his route sheet will be limited to slants and fly routes, but the Seattle Seahawks coaching staff can take their time with Tamorion Terry. What he can provide the Seattle Seahawks with now is a guy who's a big body who can provide explosive and deep plays down the field. Let's not forget, Russ Wilson is one of the best deep ball throwers in all the NFL. And so Tamori Ontario landed himself in a perfect situation with a guy that could take full advantage of his gifts. Another reason why his draft stock plummeted was because of the lack of talent at quarterback and offensive line over at FSU. Remember a couple of seasons ago when Cam Akers was coming out of Florida State University? Well, he was drafted near the bottom of the second round because of his ability to, or because he looked bad his last season at FSU. Well, don't blame it on him. Blame it on the offensive line. Blame it on a quarterback. Blame it on the lack of a team around him. And so we're talking about a guy that was projected to go in the middle rounds, and yet he fell into the laps of the Seahawks Seahawks as an undrafted free agent. You know your guys' favorite undrafted free agent down below. And while that concludes this video, we have loads of other content coming for you guys. Don't forget to follow us on all forms of social media at Smith. Now, nothing but love and Steezy out.